In this video, we're going to demonstrate the concrete slump test, a simple and quick test used to check the workability and consistency of freshly mixed concrete. Let's get started. The main objectives of the slump test are to determine the workability of concrete, to measure its consistency, and to ensure the concrete mix is suitable for proper placement without segregation or bleeding. To perform the slump test, we need the following tools. A slump cone, also known as the Abrams cone. It has a height of 300 mm, a bottom diameter of 200 mm, and a top diameter of 100 mm. A tamping rod, 16 mm in diameter and 600 mm long, with one rounded end. A base plate, at least 500 by 500 mm, preferably made of steel or plastic. A trowel and a measuring scale or ruler. And of course, freshly mixed concrete. Now let's walk through the test procedure. Step 1. Place the slump cone on a clean, flat and moist base plate. Hold it firmly in place. Step 2. Fill the cone in three equal layers. After adding each layer, tamp the concrete 25 times using the tamping rod. Make sure to distribute the strokes evenly over the surface. Step 3. After the top layer is filled and tamped, strike off the excess concrete with a trowel so it's level with the top of the cone. Step 4. Carefully and slowly lift the cone vertically in 5 to 10 seconds. Don't shake or twist the cone. Step 5. The concrete will slump. Use a ruler to measure the vertical drop from the original height of the cone to the top of the slumped concrete. This measurement is called the slump value. You'll get one of the following results. True slump. The concrete retains its shape and only subsides slightly. This is ideal. Shear slump. The concrete slips sideways. This shows a lack of cohesion. Collapse slump. The concrete completely flattens. This means the mix is too wet or has too much water. The slump test is suitable for normal concrete used in beam slabs, footings, columns. But it's not suitable for dry mixes like those used in pavements, highly workable or self-compacting concrete. Typical slump values, 25 to 50 millimeters, low workability, 75 to 125 millimeters, medium workability. Above 150 millimeters, high workability may need special tests. To summarize, the concrete slump test is quick, simple, and cost-effective. It helps monitor the quality and workability of concrete on site, and it's a standard part of concrete quality control worldwide. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, comment your thoughts, and subscribe for more civil engineering lab tutorials. Thanks for watching.